Hey everyone, Rob here. This winter I decided to make my own version of the University of Guelph's four-way mating nuke. I saw this uh, on the University of Guelph's uh, Honeybee Research Channel, hosted by Paul Kelly. And it got me thinking that I want to make this because I also want to try breeding my own queens. So what I did was I turned this standard medium honey super into a four quadrant brood chamber. Each set of quadrants features its own uh, five frame uh, mediums cut to length. Uh, this box also has upper ventilation holes covered in hardware cloth on each side, as well as the bottom board um, has corresponding uh, boards uh, to where the dividers are, and it has four entrances, each facing one direction. Um, so if you want to see how I built this and the steps I took to do it, continue watching. Thanks so much. So before we make my first cut, I am setting my fence up to six and five eighths. These cuts here are going to split this super into four sections. So these two pieces here are going to split the honey super into two brew chambers. I'm just measuring here one piece is six inches and the other piece is six and five eighths. And I'm just taking a measurement here uh, for the inside width of the honey super. Now making this cut here is what is going to split this into a four quadrant brood chamber. I'm making this cut at nine and three eighths. I'm setting up the table saw to make a dado cut that is 3 8 high by 3 8 wide and this is what will divide the honey super into two chambers. A useful tip to make sure that you made the cut in the center of the board is to actually flip it around run it backwards with the table saw off to make sure if it lines up with the saw blades. Now I'm just changing up my dado stack to accept the 1 8 boards that is going to divide this chamber into four sections. Just under this. And here I am just measuring to make sure that I split this side of the honey super directly in half. when you could actually see things come together. This piece here is what divides the brood chamber in half and then the two adjacent pieces that get glued to it act as the frame rest and here is where I am just going to glue and staple things together before I run it through the dado set for it to accept those 1 8 pieces that divide this chamber in four sections. What I'm doing here is making the corresponding 8 inch dado cut.
just time to glue and staple everything together for you to see what the finished product will look like. And here I'm just adding some ventilation holes covered with hardware cloth. Now it's time to make the bottom board. The important thing with the bottom board is to make sure that each entrance faces its own direction. Now all that's left to do is cut, notch, and assemble the frames that are going to be needed for this to work. I'm just cutting down regular length medium frames. That's it folks, that concludes this project. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed building it. And if you'd like to see me do some more DIY beekeeping projects, just leave a comment down below and I'd love to do that. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with a friend. And I hope to see you again on the next video. Bye.